Okay, so um, let's go ahead and do this problem. It says, uh, will a precipitate form uh, when mixing the following two solutions? So notice it says solutions, right? So that should give us, so remember, the first thing we're going to have to do is write a chemical equation for these things, okay? So it says potassium chloride and silver one nitrate. Okay, so they're in solution form. So that should give us a clue as to how to write them uh, in their chemical equation. So, um, what did I say? Potassium chloride. So potassium chloride looks like that. And because it's in solution, what's its state going to be? Aqueous. Okay, that's what that means, solution. Okay, so potassium chloride. Why isn't this potassium one chloride? <laughs> That's not how it works. Why, why is that not how it works? Because potassium is where? Where is? Where do you need to be to say one, two, three, that type of transition, transition metals, right? And then in the middle. Okay, so potassium is not a transition metal. It's a group one element. Right? So, and then let's try this other one, silver one nitrate. So silver one or silver must be a what then? Transition metal, right? Why? Because it says one after it. What about nitrate? Does anybody remember the NO3 minus one? So that's good, right? So we know that this is AG plus, right? And then NO3 minus one. So to balance those things out, they just cancel each other out, right? So there's not any twos and ones and things like that. So the formula here is AG plus. NO3. So what are we writing here, this first equation? What is this thing called? Do you guys remember? The molecular equation? If you don't remember that, something to remember, I would say, definitely. Okay, so now we've got a, do you guys know your precipitation rules? Yeah? What precipitates? Okay, something you're going to have to know before exam. Two, okay, precipitation rules. Silver always precipitates with halogens, okay? So you're gonna have this silver halide precipitating. In this case, it's gonna be silver one chloride. How do we know that there's a chart or something in the book? There's that um, table that I told you that you need to know. Um, the other thing you know is that group ones never precipitate. And you also know that nitrates never precipitate. So it's pretty, straightforward as to which one it's going to do. So you want to put that first, AGCL, because it's going to precipitate what's the uh, state of matter? Good job. Yeah, solid. And then the rest of it is going to be what? Come on, guys. KNO3. And it's going to be what part of, or what state of matter? Aqueous. Why aqueous? Because it doesn't precipitate, it's still in solution. Okay, so what is this equation called? Molecular, molecular equation. So we've got to write the other two. What are they called? Do you guys remember? The net ionic. The net ionic, but before that we have to write the ionic. the ionic or total ionic. Okay? So the total ionic equation, or tie, right, is going to be Look at everything that has AQ behind it and break it up into its constituent ions. Okay. So this has AQ, so it's going to be K plus AQ, Cl minus AQ. You guys can do that, right? AG plus AQ, NO3 minus AQ goes to, what do we do for this one? Leave it alone. Yep, leave it alone. I guess a lot of people want to come up to the board today, huh? Nobody wants to talk. We can do that. That's cool. So what about this one? What are we going to do? Break it apart. Break it apart. Yeah. And then what do we do? How do we do the total or the net ionic equation? Uh, 
um, anything that does not. Anything that's on both sides, right? You're canceling it. So, K plus on both sides? Yes. Yes? NO3 minus, is that on both sides? Yes. What about CO minus? Yeah. What about AG plus? <coughs> That's the net ionic equation. What's the purpose of the different equations? Uh, so this is showing you the two solutions that you added together. Mm -hmm. Okay. This is showing you um, what things get canceled out. And this is showing you your actual reaction. Oh, so right. the, the first one's not the actual equation. Uh -huh. So the, why is this the actual reaction? Right? This thing has still has what kind of ions? The, the spectators are in there, remember? So the spectators don't participate in the, the game, remember? So what are the spectator ions? Calcium. Yeah. K plus. And what's the other one? NO3. NO3. So they don't participate in the reaction, right? What do they do here? What's K's? Does it react? K plus? Look, from here to here, did it do anything? So it's not doing anything. The only things that are important, I can get this Cl minus from NaCl, I can get it from any sort of Cl contributor, Cl minus contributor. It doesn't have to be KCl. That's what this is saying. You don't necessarily need potassium chloride to do this. Just need something that gives you Cl minus ions. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. You don't necessarily need silver nitrate, although that's a good one to use. What is the NIEP again? Net ionic equation. Any other questions? <laughs>